Hello and welcome back to video 10 for topic 3, Networks, and this time we will outline the characteristics of different transmission media, and this is for the IB Diploma in Computer Science. So here we go, four core units, and we're working on the third one. So yeah, penultimate video for data transmission under Networks. What does that entail? Well, we're going to understand the different types of transmission media used in networks. We're going to identify the characteristics of various transmission media, including speed, reliability, cost, and security. We're going to compare and contrast the advantages and disadvantages of metal conductors, fiber optic cables, and wireless transmission media. We're going to analyze the factors that influence the choice of transmission media in different network environments. You may have seen some of these Ethernet cables, as you can see here, before. Introduction to transmission media. Transmission media are the pathways that carry information from a sender to a receiver across a network. These types include wired, physical pathways with metal conductors, twisted pairs or coaxial, and fiber optic cables. Wireless would be electromagnetic energy pulses transmitted through the air, through water, or even a vacuum. Okay. So here we go. Metal conductors. This is a twisted pair. You can see the pairs are twisted here. Yeah. There's four pairs and they've been split by this spindle or this separator. Okay. These are commonly used in Ethernet, LAN networks, and, and telephones. Speed. A well, CAT5e is up to 1 gigabytes per second, whereas a CAT6 is up to 10 gigabytes per second. They're reliable, up to 100 meters, but susceptible to electromagnetic interference or noise. In terms of price, they're quite low cost. Um, in terms of security, they are susceptible to physical hacks unless properly secured. Okay, and you can see how it's been constructed here. Metal conductors also includes a coaxial cable. You can see here. You may have seen one of these cables coming out of your TV set. So home internet access and older LAN technologies use these. Speed, typically 10 megabits per second, slower than modern twisted pair cables. They are more reliable to electromagnetic interference, reliable up to 200 to 500 meters. Slightly more expensive than twisted pairs, but they are still low cost. Security is harder to physically hack compared to twisted pair cables. Now here we go, fiber optic cables, the backbone of LANs, high-speed data transmission over long distances, typically one gigabyte to 10 gigabytes or more, okay, gigabytes per second. Reliability, they're immune to electromagnetic interference, this is these are little tiny plastic fibers, and they're reliable over distances of up to two kilometers. The cost, high cost, including specialized equipment and installation. Security, extremely secure, nearly impossible to physically hack. As you can see here, we've taken a cross section and we've got lots and lots of these little fiber optic tubes. Yeah. Wireless transmission. Obviously, there's no wires to talk about here. Mobile devices, Wi Fi networks, and remote connections use wireless transmission. Speeds up to 100 megabits per second, based on this standard, generally reliable prone to interference and security issues. Costs are decreasing, making it more accessible. Security, these are vulnerable to unauthorized access and eavesdropping requires a strong encryption. Okay, so if we compare these, obviously the best in terms of reliability is fiber optic. Fiber optic obviously best all the way through, but there is a high cost price. The rest of them are fairly low, okay? And again, twisted pairs and fiber optic can run at similar speeds. Okay. So in conclusion, the choice of transmission media depends on the specific requirement of the network, including speed, reliability, cost, and security. Each medium has its advantages and trade-offs. Understanding the characteristics of different transmission media is essential for designing and managing effective network infrastructure. Okay. As always, we've got a few questions, a two mark, a four mark, and a six mark. Question one, define the term transmission media and provide two examples. Question two, compare the speed and reliability of twisted pair cables and fiber optic cables in a network environment. And question three, discuss the advantages and disadvantages of using wireless transmission media compared to wired transmission media. Consider factors such as speed, cost, and security. Okay, as always, if you don't want to see the answers, pause the video, but here we go. Answer number one, transmission media are the pathways that carry information from a sender to a receiver across a network. Examples include twisted pair cables, which are wired, and Wi-Fi 
which is obviously wireless. Question two, twisted pair cables, speed range between 100, and 10, 100 megabits per second and 10 gigabits per second, reliable up to 100, 100 meters, but susceptible to electromagnetic interference. Whereas fiber optic speeds, again, they are the same, but they're highly reliable over long distances, up to two kilometers, and immune to electromagnetic interference. Okay, and then finally, Wireless transmission media offers the advantage of mobility and ease of installation, with cost decreasing over time. However, they tend to have lower speeds, up to 100 megabits per second, and are more susceptible to interference and security issues compared to wired media. Wired media, such as twisted pairs and fiber optic cables, provide high speeds, better reliability, and stronger security. But they do come with a higher cost and with less flexibility in terms of mobility. Okay, that is it for this video. Thank you very much indeed, and I will see you next time for the final video in this section, video 11. Bye for now. Please continue to ask questions, leave your comments, hit notifications, and please subscribe. And finally, if you wish to buy me a coffee, I'd be truly grateful. Please visit buymeacoffee.com forward slash learning zone. Thank you very much indeed. See you next time. Bye for now.